This is that kind, right? And this is Let's Play Shenmue. In the last episode, we got the Phoenix Mirror. Now we got this cutscene. Ryo-san, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix Mirror? It's kind of creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. Ryo-san, Ryo stop it, please! You think it could be cursed? No. I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous! Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious! Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. <laughs> Folks, an idiot. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna go see Master Chen, but first we're gonna do some things first. Give a little bit stuff about the story. Yeah, it's Fuxan. Where is Ine-san? I think I can show her the mirror. She was like, holy crap. cooking dinner. Yes, she is. Can I, can I show it to her? Ine-san. Ryo-san. Also. I will try. See you Yes. Okay. There's nothing more she'll tell me, so. Alright. I'm gonna take it some places. We're gonna go to, be we're gonna go to Dublita. So we're gonna do a quick, we're gonna do a, uh, quick, quick move. Dublita. Maybe I can't do a quick thing to, uh, the harbor that way you don't have to wait for the dang bus but whatever 6 38 p.m and we're gonna get a uh, animation soon okay let's take it to the china shop which is up here if we can if it's still open it's closed oh it's open okay i thought it was closed Kind of weird how that kind of looks. How that looks. Mm -hmm. Low resolution. Let me get a cutscene. Let me get a cutscene. I think. Hello. Oh, Hazuki san. Thanks for your help the other day. What? Can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the Phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
There we go. There's a little history on Chinese mythology there. And we're going to take it to the antique shop. The uh, place where we got the sword handguard. We'll probably get a little bit more information from them. If they're open. If not, then we'll move on. But it's actually a pretty neat cutscene. Pretty, uh... It's pretty informative. And I think he might be closed. No, he's open. Okay. Pretty weird that an antique shop open until after 7 o'clock. Excuse me. Oh, Hazuki Sensei's boy. I could really use your expertise again. Of course, provided it's something I am familiar with. Is it about the sword handguard from the other day? No, it's about this. Hmm, may I take a look? What a marvelous stone phoenix mirror. Stone mirrors were produced in China during ancient times. This is an exceptional piece. Is there anything unusual about this one? Indeed there is. I think perhaps this type of precious stone is only found in the Guilin region. Precious stone? According to a book I once read long ago, an emperor ordered a sculptor from Guilin to engrave a guardian onto a stone mirror. Guardian? The phoenix on this mirror is a guardian. Is there any connection between the phoenix and the stone from Guilin? Well, I really can't speculate, but... Considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there is a connection. I see. Well then, thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. There's a little bit more information on the stone that actually kind of ties in with the uh, rest of the series. So, I'm going the wrong direction. I'm gonna... Well, we're gonna go to Amihama, probably harbor, so... I'll, I'll go right there, actually. I think we're gonna miss the bus. Oh crap, we're gonna miss the bus. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I don't want to miss the bus. This, show, this is Monday, so, it's not, so it shows up at, at the uh, hour and half hour mark. Oh my god, we didn't miss the bus. Alright. I'll meet you at warehouse number 8. Alright, we're in this area right here. Watch this. We've already called Nestor Chen. Hey, wait! Excuse me, uh... I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. <laughs> A lot different than last time, huh? <laughs> uh, and, see, we don't have to worry about them. Why? <laughs> you can't do anything. <laughs> I'm allowed to be in here now. <laughs> wow, that was weird. And eight. There we go. I still get lost in here. And we're gonna do a cutscene. Ah, the Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. 
A long time ago, Chu Yuanda once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror... What the? Hey! Oh, hey, sorry about that. Alright. There's... Yep. Shy has messed up stuff. <laughs> he messed up my recording. Oh. Hazuki, push that button! And press the... Press that button. Oh, blow up. There you go. program just I cut off right there. <laughs> Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di? Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then? And then, he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. <laughs> How admirable, but you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered, what would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Kui Chan. Master Chen, please wait! You should not waste your life on revenge. <sighs> Alright, with that, we're going to end this episode off right here. In the next episode, we will start to find a way to Hong Kong. So, this is that guy on the right, signing off. So, the Chi Yo men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? <laughs>